the best drones for professional shooting or racing, the best of the low budget, the best for beginners, the best racing drones, and the best waterproof drones. We are going to present you the top of the coolest drones in all categories. So, let's fly! The best drone in terms of combination of features in 2021 is the DJI Air 2S, a new quadcopter with the perfect balance between size, weight, image quality, smart features, and price. The Air 2S is quite light at only 600 grams, but it has enough power to fly in winds of up to 10 meters per second. The drone has 8 gigs of internal memory and its own LED backlight. It has a maximum flight range of 18.5 kilometers and a maximum transmission range of up to 12 kilometers. The speed depends on the selected flight mode and ranges from 5 to 19 meters per second. The positioning system uses GPS and GLONASS satellites as well as visual sensors for positioning and precise hovering in place. What sets this drone apart from the last version of the Mavic Air 2 is the improved collision avoidance system and a new camera. The 1 inch and 20 megapixel camera with 3 axis mechanical stabilization and 8 times digital zoom will deliver stunning JPEG or RAW photos as well as 5.4K videos. RAW files offer more room for editing and they manage to show a bit more detail and less noise than images from the Air 2. This brings the camera closer to the level of the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. In addition to standard stills and videos, the Air 2S supports frame-by-frame -frame motion capture, also referred to as hyperlapse. You will have the flexibility to control the drone manually or set different camera positions and angles. When it comes to the best of the more budget-friendly drones, today is the DJI Mini 2. It's more affordable than the previous model and exceptionally good in this price range. The DJI Mini 2 weighs only 250 grams and has a range of only 10 kilometers, but it flies better than many larger models. The drone was the second generation of the Mavic Mini, from which it differs with an updated stabilized 12 megapixel camera shooting in 4K at 30 frames per second. A 3-axis stabilized suspension and 2 times digital zoom complete this beautiful picture. The Mini 2 also gets more powerful motors and more advanced wireless technology for reliable remote control. Taking off and landing will require level ground as even grass can interfere with the small drone's propellers. The Mini 2 has no internal memory and no obstacle avoidance system, and thus no flight mode. But there are automatic flight modes, and you could also set up a geofence within a certain radius of the remote. Despite the lack of collision sensors, the drone is great for beginners. It's stable and reliable, and you will definitely learn how to fly with the DJI Mini 2. The best compact drone for professional photos and video shooting is still the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. The quadcopter is special on this class. With the image and video quality that is amazing, there's also the ability to track objects at 72 km per hour. With a 1-inch sensor and 20 megapixel resolution, as well as adjustable apertures, this will capture the best photos and videos in 4K at, yes, 30 frames per second. Raw support for photos, two viewing angles for video, and incredible stabilization complete this picture. The drone also has one of the best omnidirectional obstacle avoidance systems, incorporating sensors in all directions. With most flight modes, forward, backward, up and down sensors are constantly active, stopping the drone in place when an obstacle is detected. When you switch to active track, where the Mavic detects and tracks a moving object, the side sensors, which the Air 2S, for example, does not have, are activated. They also work in low-speed mode, which allows photographers to move the drone very slowly to get better shots. But in high-speed sport mode, all sensors are disabled, something to keep in mind if you're not a very experienced pilot. DJI drones could compete with the Skydio 2 drone, which has already won competitions in dodging obstacles with DJI Air 2S. The NVIDIA Tegra X2 powered drone is considered one of the smartest. Its six visual sensors build a spherical picture of the environment and the drone constantly assesses the situation and decides where to go next. Its algorithm even predicts in advance where this or that obstacle is moving or will be in the near future. But the Skydio 2 has a worse shooting quality. It has a smaller sensor and only 12 megapixels. In the United States, where this startup comes from, the drone managed to rise well against the background of sanctions against DJI, which of course does not detract from the merits. 
the most interesting solution in terms of shooting in the medium price range has to be the Parrot Anafi drone. The 21 megapixel camera for 4K shooting at 60 frames per second tilts a full 180 degrees, allowing you to take pictures right above the drone. With the Hitchcock-style sliding space effect, where the drone moves away while simultaneously hitting the target with a camera, adds a twist, as does the built-in 2.8x zoom without compromising image quality. The downside, however, is that the shooting quality is not the same as DJI's, but the Para Anafi is good enough for selfies. Its Follow Me mode tracks your movements, automatically adjusting to more photogenic angles, and its Smart Dronies mode, Orbit, Parabola, Boomerang, and Tornado make the drone flying around in various circles and arcs. Anafi is initially very slow to fly, but this can be fixed with the settings. The flight time is around 25 minutes on a full charge, and the drone is quiet, compact, but has a big disadvantage in video when it comes to its lack of ability to avoid obstacles. The best low-cost drone with 4K must be the Potenzic Dreamer Pro 4K. Among the budget drones, this stands out through plastic, but durable body, handy controller, and 30-minute flight time. You get the most of what more expensive drones have with a 4K camera, intelligent flight modes like follow, circle, return home, etc., and a handy controller and app combination. What you don't get is weight, which means it's more susceptible to wind, and there are also no collision avoidance features. The best toy drone must be the SEMA X20. The mini drone is suitable for children and those who are afraid to kill an expensive drone while still learning to fly. The X20 is sold in different configurations and rebranded from several companies, but it's still the same basic equipment. Don't pay more than $40. Be careful when flying indoors as a bump can destroy this drone. The X20 flies a little differently compared to larger drones and it's harder to control, but we think it's still fun to fly. The best drone for Star Wars fans must be the Propel X-Wing Fighter Drone. There are actually three drones in this line, the X-Wing, the TIE X-1, and the Speeder Bike. The best part is that they all have a combat mode, so you can fly against your friends and shoot them down. Get three hits with the IR beam and your drone will automatically land. Unfortunately, learning how to fly a drone isn't easy, as even a small push of the control knob can take the drone away too quickly. Holding your position is also a hopeless endeavor. But once you master these sensitive controls, it becomes fun to fly and fight. On this model, drone prices fluctuate widely, but don't pay more than $60 for the X-Wing. The best drone for beginners is the DJI Rise Tello. It's inexpensive, lightweight, compact with responsive controls and a relatively sturdy body. The Rise Tello is stable enough for beginners with enough power to fly outside but not in strong winds. The drone offers a flight time of up to 13 minutes. With downward-facing light sensors, they allow the Tello to hover in place and perform a few automatic tricks. It doesn't have a dedicated controller, or even a great camera for that matter, but it's good enough to capture 720p HD video and 5 megapixel photos. Controls from the app are quite responsive and simple. The theoretical range is 100 meters, but 30 to 40 meters is more realistic which, given even a light breeze, can knock the 80-gram Tello off its course. The best racing drone for beginners is the Emax Tiny Hawk 2. It can reach speeds of 160 km per hour, and this drone is incredibly maneuverable, created for aerial acrobatics under manual control. Learning to pilot the Emax Tiny Hawk 2 will not be easy, but the process will be less expensive and less tedious than other entry-level systems. The drone is designed for first-person flight and comes in two packages for those who already have their own FPV systems and those who need the whole kit at once. By the way, the best non-sports FPV drone is the DJI FPV, simply because it's the only ready-to-fly and quality shooting system on the market right now. The drone has an incredible top speed of 140 km per hour and a 4K stabilized video as well as a 12 megapixel photo camera. It's faster and more maneuverable than any other DJI drone and has three different flight modes at normal, sport, and manual. The suspension is a single-axis device only, but electronic image stabilization ensures a smooth frame. We couldn't leave without mentioning the best all-weather PowerVision Power Egg X drone. It can fly in the rain and land on water and easily transforms into a portable camera with a suspension or an autonomous camera with artificial intelligence. 
which can be mounted on a tripod and controlled by hand gestures. It's true that the image quality is not up to the competition due to the plastic waterproof housing, which can be removed. But the Power Egg X does produce decent, detailed 4K footage in bright light. But the 12 megapixel camera that doesn't have the largest sensor, fixed aperture, and fixed focus can't compete with the DJI Mavic drones. It's also impossible to record video in RAW formats, but nevertheless, for short and clear videos in bad weather, the Power Egg X is one of the best options. Which drone would you like to buy? Write in the comments, let us know, and like this video and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.